Hi, I'm Amy. This is my husband, MJ, and our five boys, Bobby, MJ, Stryker, and Addison, Rebel, left our house in Florida and set sail on an adventure of a lifetime and an education outside of the classroom. Island hopped our way down to Central America, where we are currently located and working towards our dream of crossing the Pacific. And if you're gonna do something, do it now, tomorrow's too late. Yes, the beauty of the morning. Sunrise, coffee, just beautiful, peaceful. Yeah. And coming right back in where we left off from last week with the bilge cleaning due to the overflow of our water tanks. Yep, back at it with the shop vac, shock vac. And you know, honestly, this is a important thing to do every so often, probably every couple of weeks really, to uh, ensure that you don't have weird stuff happen, like food coagulate around the stove and then water drip in there. And it kind of becomes this like place for things to grow. Yep, those things maggots. It's only happened once, but I surely don't want it to happen again. And yeah, toddlers, that's what they do. They kind of spread the mess around. So again, important to do this pretty often. And this is actually the biggest area, biggest floorboard out of our bilge floors. So it's kind of hard to get to. It's always fun when you find a fake roach in the floor. That's why I keep them in there. You know, just lift up the spirits a little. Next, we went to town. We knew we needed to try and get gas as soon as possible because things were changing quickly. Protests and demonstrations were popping up everywhere, including Bocas, and now we were unable to get gas. This is a big deal. So Bobby and I went to shore, went to town and provision for at least five days, the five days until dad was coming back and made sure we had enough stuff to get us through. This is our last trip. This is the last time we went to focus for six days. And this is where we spend most of our time, up on the deck when it's not super hot and sunny, definitely in the afternoons. I also try to catch up on everything I've missed. Staying in touch with everyone, and messaging, social media, all that jazz. Sometimes it's hard to do, especially with these guys around. is a daily routine, but these fish, they're our pets. We have literally grown a snapper farm under our home. So every day we also do new exercises like skater size. This is a daily thing too. But of course we feed the fish and yeah, go figure. We found out that they actually like coffee. They like coffee. So we go on our coffee grinds every morning, We're like our little compostable ecosystem. Yep, these are the things that we do. Okay. 
pretty much on lockdown here at the booth. We have like three gallons of gas. Honestly, I feel like battery because we're always low on battery these days. And now the lack of fuel, mm, just that much more stressful. Technically have one generator use left in gas and I have one trip to town and back and that's to go get the husband and provisions for that day. On the positive side, the sun is shining more and we are feeding our battery bank, so that's good. And when the sun comes out, things get done, like the dingy detail. things were pretty normal so we actually got a lot done and now okay the day has come in the morning everyone's sleeping today's a big day i am really stressing because there's supposed to be gas at this bar restaurant and they don't sell gas but apparently They've sold, been selling gas for eight dollars a gallon. I'll pay forty dollars for five gallons of gas right now. It's insane, but that gas is like detrimental to our, our life. So I'm stressing that actually happening because if I drive there, I'm wasting a gallon of gas to get there. And if I get there and get denied, I just screwed myself out of a gallon of gas. Today, my husband is flying in. I couldn't sleep like I couldn't sleep. And Nada's invaded my bed. He's back there. He's been sleeping with my toddler as cute and cuddly as it can be or seem as kind of odd. So I gotta start waking everybody up. Except for that guy. I'm not gonna wake him up. Okay, sunshine. In the room. It's a little bit. Straight out of bed, straight into the day, straight to gas. So excited to see this. Just really grateful for being able to get the little bit that we did. Now we just have to be very conservative. And sure enough, before you could even blink an eye, it was time. Here comes dad. said his flight was delayed, but turns out, no, he was right on time. So, I need to move fast to get there. He's had a long day of some crazy travel. So, off we went to go get Dad. Are you excited? Or scared? Dad is back. And, um, yeah, until next week. Size number seven are out. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And 
And yep, I am back at the bench for holiday season. This week, it's dinosaur bone. Yep, that's right, dinosaur bone. It occurs when minerals from the groundwater are deposited in the bones. It's one of the five gemstones created from organisms, the others being pearl, amylite, amber, and jet. Thanks for watching. See you next week.